the name is batman only one goal ask the farmers do you bleed then kill them and drink their blood the name sin of pride the gentle sanapai only one goal beat the best hey guys welcome back this is castle bat we are in k190 kingdom all right so well before we talk about the current video i uh, i'm going to promote one more channel today we have done that in the past we will keep promoting uh, content cre uh, creators people who are creating content on youtube or any other social media uh, for clash of kings we will promote that right so uh, let's go and check this channel out so guys this is kitana channel this is a uh, uh, channel which brings a lot of stuff around uh, clash of king uh, battles and guides and all those stuff right and it's very interesting i mean the way she is uh, basically combining animations and very cool animations you will love those animations i loved it and even she's helping me out in uh, adding some animations in my videos uh, so i i think this channel will rise and will become a very popular one uh, let's support this channel let's let's have uh, these content creators motivated right by helping them getting them subscribers getting them likes and all and you will see so much content on youtube each day right to watch and enjoy so please support this channel uh, the link of the channel will be in the description i will again put it in the comment section also i'll pin that it and just click on it subscribe it ring the i mean uh, click the bell icon so that you are notified about any of the new videos that uh, is published on this channel please help uh, these content creators and you will get a lot of videos to watch and enjoy all right okay guys so back to the uh, the topic of the video so today's uh, today uh, topic is the defense of castle and uh, how can we defend better right so see uh, this castle castle bat is it's not a max ca uh, maxed out castle with all the stats and all no no ways i mean we are still at like 950 or maybe 1000 cavalry attack that's too low these days right uh, people have 1200 1300 uh, or even more uh, cav attack and uh, an attack is not the only thing we all know right but then uh, and this is a uh, 430 million power that's nothing these days um, uh, it's difficult to defend rallies with this power uh, 400 million these days with the brutal attack people have this castle can easily get tested right so uh, i'm trying to figure out ways by which uh, what statistic will work best to defend a castle my uh, understanding is and that's how i uh, i'm trying to up my stats according accordingly so my thinking is defensive damage is my first preference i always want to get that up as high as possible i i have seen uh, over time uh, facing these battles i've seen that uh, with a higher defensive damage the defense of my castle is getting better and better it's not perfect no ways but then at least it's improving okay that's one thing then i go with the the damage and hp my defense and attack are the last thing i focus on my defense and attack right now is very low by the way but then uh, the, the received damage, the damage by cavalry, damage by archers, damage by infantry, all is the next thing that you should do after you have done with your uh, defensive damage. Once you've done that, focus on, an, on your HP and on your defense. And then last will be your uh, attack, right? So that way uh, you, you should, uh, I mean, that's what I think that that's the way I am uh, trying to up my stats in that uh, specific order and game is launching new stuff new uh, things around crit anti crit all that stuff keeps coming in we will keep researching about it trying these battles to see if this order changes and maybe crit comes uh, before uh, let's say uh, HP or uh, attack maybe crit comes before attack 
something like that right so we can we'll think about that part but uh, that's how uh, stuff is i'm going to walk you through that uh, what all i have done in this video we'll just focus on defensive damage and i'll walk you through what all is done uh, in this castle to up the defensive damage as high as 232 right now that's what i think i have so uh, it's again not max i think you can have higher than that but uh, let's start with dragon world right that's the so i have god above here and this gives me a lot of uh, defensive damage 27 percentage uh, straight up it gives me infantry defense also and the good thing is it gives you all soldier units damage so as i said my focus is on defensive damage then damage and then hp and defense right so that's how the order is coming in almost right defensive damage and i'm getting gaining damage so that's why my preference was to go with this uh i may not go for go for all the, the features that clash keeps uh, adding like all the saga uh, science and all new stuff or enhancing the equipment no it, my equipments are not in, not enhanced or, and i may not even do it because i don't see much value in that part right uh so that's one thing i've done uh now in terms of my civ science let's go and check how much have we done it's not complete yet so yeah i mean offensive and all is is okay we have done that but there are sections which give you defensive damage right uh not this i believe yeah this one so I'm still at level 9, 4% more I can get here, get here. This is, I believe, Hoxia, right? Yeah. And then, yep. So that is there. That is that. And uh, overall, on the other one, which is your Slaughter, uh, I think I have done the science for all the civilization. This is maxed out. Is it? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So that's one thing, right? Now, what's my armor? So when I'm defending, what kind of an armor I'm using on Lord uh, or I'm using on my hero? So this is what I'm using on my Lord, right? Uh, so I'm using this sword. It has cavalry, cavalry, archer. I would have loved to have infantry attack or three cavalries, but that's what I have, which is okay. I'm not going to enhance it further or do any more changes uh, to it. I am using omnipotence. I have made a video about this earlier also. So omnipotence gives me uh, good defensive damage. I have enhanced it uh, a bit to get get uh, a bit more. Uh, and then you have uh, Arca uh, X3 armor, right? Uh, random only two random attributes. They are not uh, maxed out in no ways. Then uh, this one, I'm still using my helmet, uh, not using anything else. I I wish to try uh, some other options around this also in my later battles like trying using death uh, mask i may try this because this will giving me uh, extra defense infantry defense so i may go for this later but this is my current uh, uh, settings so again uh, leg is arca and uh, my ring is uh, double cavalry charge damage and damage dealt by cavalry all that stuff is there right that's how things look like uh, in terms of my dragon class I am using level 28 of course for my defensive damage for for my defense uh, and this is uh, all charged so let's go and quickly check what have we done on this so go to charge section it is all uh, dark crystal charge so you have the random attributes for damage dealt by cavalry 2 percentage and it uh, and also we have uh, additional 15 percentage for having the the orange and purple one so that's what uh, my defensive damage uh, crystal looks like right now let's quickly check my hero so on my hero we are using selma and why am i using selma right uh, there is a new hero here and they say that's the best hero for war i uh, yeah it is best hero i have not even made his experience more than level one and i may not even do that right the reason I'm I'm using it or I like it is these skills, these active skills, right? So the active skills gives me a ten percentage uh, reduction, defense damage reduction and defense damage, which is good. Fifteen percent HP I can get, but that's too far for me right now. I'll go slow on that, right? But defensive damage was my priority, and I, I I've got that part right. Would I use that as my uh, hero on the wall? Maybe not because. 
uh, what do I gain? Let's see, right? So I will gain maybe two percentage here, right? Uh, overall for defensive damage and reduction. I have to spend a lot of experience and attributes. Uh, if I check, then I have defensive damage as four percentage here. So I could have four, 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 three of them. Yeah, I can get it. But hey, let's see Selma, right? Selma has, apart from active skills, she also has official position skills, which are important. Only few heroes have position skills. So that tells you offhand that they are good to be sent in marches or they are good to be used on the wall. That's one uh, distinguish that you can make, right? Like Christina, she also has official positions, uh, position skills, right? Because if you send her marches, you will get that thing. Or, and you can use her active skills also. Now, that's not the same with any other hero. I mean, talk about uh, this uh, Death Knight, just the active skills, right? So. That's the way I'm thinking uh, that when why to select Selma for defense and Selma for me I have uh, uh, customized her for a full defense. Look at this. So she is nine percentage giving me nine percentage defensive damage, maxed out, right? So that's why I have specialized her for defense. And uh, the new hero would have given me how much more? Uh, four, four, four. So twelve. Around 3% more and 2% uh, from the uh, talent section. So 5% more, but you got to spend so much to get this and, and uh, purify it. It's Is it worth the value? Maybe no, right? So I will not go for it. I will still just use the active skills, 10% of active skills, but just by getting the hero and getting to star 2 is good enough, right? It gives you good defense. Uh, so that's what I have done from here. And... Uh, of course, my science and saga is all complete around defensive damage. So, uh, nothing uh, left on that part, really. Alright, and on top of it, I'm using this red dragon. Now, red dragon uh, in defense, of course. Now, if you see the red dragon, uh, I have added the HP skill on it. It's not a 24% uh, HP skill, it's 14% HP skill. Good enough, trust me. I mean, it's cheaper. Uh, than 24 percentage but uh, uh, the amount of money you will spend to get 24 percentage and then enhance him to level 10 that is going to cost you so much better to get 20, uh, level 10 and then uh, do other stuff right so this is giving me additional defensive damage defensive damage reduction which is good that's what my setup is also in terms of my uh, uh, spear I'm using the Odin long spear. It is as level nine, and uh, it is giving me. Let's go and check. Yeah, so it's giving me defensive damage, 15 percentage, and all. It's giving me cavalry health, cavalry attack, cavalry receive damage. Again, I talked about right that defensive damage. Then you talk about damage and receive damage of the troops. Then you talk about HP and then defense and attack. That's what I will go in that order when if I'm defending it. If I am a defensive player uh, or if I want to defend rallies, big rallies, I will up my stats in that order, right? So that's what we have done. Um, there is lots to it uh, in terms of how we can increase your defensive, uh, uh, defense of the castle, be it your stats, be it your troop formations. So I will recommend if you have troops, uh, I mean, if, uh, if you want to uh, have uh, try out some troop formations I will recommend have all the layering of your cavalries and infantry all 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 the starting from T1 till T12 T13 whatever right have all your layers around that and the lower layers have more of those troops and they will help you a lot in battles right that's what we have seen okay well uh, so that's what uh, it's a short I mean it's uh, it's we have the uh, Got, I mean, we have taken into account some of the aspects of defense. I hope this helps. I'm going to keep making more videos around uh, how to defend better with low power and all. And uh, keep watching. Uh, please do share this video if this helps. And uh, subscribe, uh, share, like our videos. And bye-bye.